This week at Cosmic Toys, I've got another couple of those bitty kind of lots for you. I've got a pile of Transformers Studio Series again. And a full run of the original Harley Quinn comic series. And young Robert's been back with the last of his Transformers. Well, the last for now. Starting with the Michael Bay movies, we've got the studio series Revenge of the Fallen. The Fallen. I'll complete that in its box. Now these have all been out of the box and on display, but they're all complete in excellent condition and most of them come with upgrade kits. Got Jetfire, who's a very hard one to find. I love what he's done here because he's got a, a Japanese version. It didn't have the numbering on it. So he's put some stickers on to tell us which studio series number it is. <laughs> Sentinel Prime there. He comes with lots and lots of uh, extra bits. Uh, upgrade kits. Megatron there. Nice shiny silver. got Shockwave there so Shockwave he, his little pieces the guy with the parachute they've never been out of the box it's just Shockwave himself that has been out very hard to find now as well uh, so Shockwave from Dark of the Moon Megatron from the original 2007 movie Sentinel Prime from Dark of the Moon and Revenge of the Fallen there for both Jetfire and of course The Fallen he also brought a couple of recent legacy ones in We've got Bludgeon, these are Voyager class, and Tarn. Now Tarn's quite hard to find at the moment as well, very popular he's proven. And he also brought me this masterpiece. Now I know going by what he says he paid for it, uh, he did get it from eBay though. He, he was pretty sure it's a legit one, but I'm not entirely convinced. I think this could well be a knockoff. So we're going to be showing it to the uh, keeper of the vaults of Iacon shortly. He can assess it for me. Tell me whether or not he thinks it's real or a knockoff. But what do you think? Place your bets in the comments now. And a regular customer of mine, Liam, who hasn't traded in for a little while, has just traded in some pretty cool stuff starting with this really sweet little spawn cubic figure i quite like this all sealed in its original packet it's a cool little piece very very fun and quirky probably very limited in its audience though but it seems to be quite hard to find and there's a bunch of Blade Runner 2049 action figures. I say a bunch. There's two different ones and there's two of each. We've got a loose one and a box one. Deckard and Officer K. And we've also got a Game of Thrones. Jorah Mormont. I think that's how you pronounce it. Sorry, I'm not a Game of Thrones fan. But... Um, there he is. And then over here we've got a couple, both the same. Little Big Planet, sad face, sack boy. Oh, doesn't he look upset? Poor little thing. And the star of the bunch by far has to be these two Figma action figures from Silent Hill. 
we've got Pyramid Head and we've got the Bubble Nurse. Very well detailed figures. Now there's a lot of fakes of these out there on the market but these are definitely genuine ones. Uh, they do come with the bags with all of their accessories in. I think they're missing the stands though sadly. But it's um, they're a nice pair. Very very nice. And it wouldn't be one of my regular videos if it didn't have a regular delivery now would it? And so starting off with the comics Marvel for a change other than DC we've got Spider-Man Shadow of the Green Goblin issue 2 Amazing Spider-Man 49 Ultimate Spider-Man issue 1 this is the fourth printing comes with a nice blank cover for you to have remarked or sketched or painted or whatever but inside it has got the original cover as well at least i think that's the original one there's been so many of these now i do tend to forget daredevil issue 9 deadpool issue 2 avengers 14 captain america 9 dc we've got batman 147 the variant for it suicide squad kill arkham asylum the prequel to the video game and this one's issue 4 of 5 uh, Marvel Star Wars we've got Darth Vader issue 46 Image Comics we've got Gunslinger Spawn issue 31 I Hate Fairyland issue 14 Bleep Fairyland issue 14 that's the variant cover essentially Dark Horse Comics have finally sent me Ghostbusters Back in Town issue 2 the normal cover uh, I'm still missing 4 of those though uh, from Titan Comics, we've got Dark Souls The Willow King, issue 4. We've got two cover variants there. Oh, sorry, no, three. I can't count, can I? And from Archie Comics, we've got Betty and Veronica. Forever Friends, or Friends Forever, rather. Fairy Tales. Uh, one graphic novel this week, and the rest is manga. Uh, Chef's Kiss, I believe. Is that Oni? Yeah, Oni Press is that one. We've got Hero, My Hero Academy, Volume 37. One Piece, Volume 105. Does it ever end? Another One Piece, Ace of Story, the manga, Volume 1. Another One Piece. Yeah, Shokugeki. Is that right? Shokugeki no, no Sanji? I don't know if that's a standalone. I think it's a standalone anyway. Acid Town, Volume 4. Candy Colour Paradox Assorted Pack. <clears throat> Naughty one there. We started a threesome. And anyway, I'm falling in love with you. Volume 2. And we've had another one of those fantastic bargains in. I think these should have come last week. DC Gallery from Diamond Select, Batman, The Dark Knight Returns, Batman and Robin statue and there we go we got the older Huskier Bruce Wayne and is it Gary Jones? I can't remember now. Who, who is it that play, oh, that's Robin in this? Does it show us on the back? Carrie Kelly, Carrie Kelly there we go. So that's what the statue looks like now. Again it's another one of those that should be about 50 quid. In fact, possibly more with it having two figures in there. £15 once again. What an absolute bargain. Come on, you can't miss out on these. And it must have been at least two weeks, maybe three weeks, since I had any Black Series in. And now we've got the Clone Trooper 2-pack from Ahsoka. We've got Phase 1. Clone Trooper Lieutenant and the 30, well, sorry, three 32nd Ahsoka's Clone Trooper. There. Oh, awesome stuff. We've got a couple of those. And from Super 7, we've got this Ultimate Scarface. There we go. How awesome does that look? It's 
got that wonderful 80s death said kind of appeal to it as this hasn't it at least I think it does anyway awesome people love the packaging as well this um, foil effect very very nice very very nice indeed unusual they normally send these in the brown box but they haven't in this case And no, your eyes did not deceive you. Yes, there was a Games Workshop delivery there. We've got the White Dwarf issue 500. They've got there at last. When did this start? Late 70s? Still going now. Very, very good. And for the first time ever, I've actually released that received something from them much much sooner than the actual release date these are not due for release and i will get into trouble if i sell them before the 25th of may but look i've got them here we've got the new combat patrol for the chaos space marines and that looks like a very full box there's some awesome minis in this one <laughs> Very, very cool. Let's see on the back what it says we get. Well, of course, we got the Master of Possession there. Got some Chaos Cultists. And some Possessed. Look at those. And of course, you've got to have some Legionnaires, haven't you? You need your Chaos Space Marines. Now, there's also the two new battle forces. We've got veterans of the long war. Which are your Chaos Space Marines. Oh, there's a lot of fun to be had painting them bad boys up. I don't think bad boys has ever been any more apt for a term than what it is now with these really is it got a chaos terminator squad we get the chaos lord we get the possessed we get some legionnaires and we get the chosen Ooh. And then in the other box, we get the Dread Talons. Oh, look at those. In there, we get some raptors the demon prince there heretic astartes demon prince chaos lord with jump pack accursed cultists dark commune and more Chaos Cultists. Oh. Now imagine all of those three boxes together as one army on the field. Ooh. And you know me, don't you? You know exactly what I'm like for procrastinating, shall we say? Well, I finally sorted it out a load of Harley Quinn comics that I've had for five years now yeah it was a complete run of them I've finally got them all bagged and boarded and looking nice all first prints all in lovely condition and all there nice and fresh in these lovely crisp bags and boards some really nice artwork on the cover of some of these. We've got Big Bard there. Oh, 
and back there. That doesn't look like a Harley Quinn cover, does it? <laughs> that one's quite an iconic image. I can remember that being turned into a poster. It's like Superman needs a haircut. <laughs> Yeah, these been lying around far too long. For about four or five years they were stuck in a box. And now, and well, for the last few months they've just been sat on a table upstairs waiting to be sorted. And I finally got around to doing it. And now they can finally be sold. This is Harley Quinn's first solo title. Her first comic run of her own. There you are, you see it ran for 38 issues. Boom. And a new customer called Lee brought me a few interesting bits in. The original Movie Maniacs line was the pinnacle of what could be done at the time and this one is no exception. In fact, this one was always a favourite of mine. It's the T-800 Battle Damage version from T-2, Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Awesome figure with fantastic detail. Yes, I know these are looked at as more of a statue, but what's wrong with that? It's not the kind of thing you play with anyway. Love this figure. Behind him, we've got the Marvel Legends Icons Captain America. This is the one with the, uh, well, the variant one with the mask off. 12 inch style action figure cool stuff cool stuff and sticking with Captain America we've got this piece which this is a solid die cast one by Corgi and there it is these are quite a nice range actually back in the early 2000s uh, like I say they are by Corgi uh, the really heavy really solid limited edition they had they weren't hyper detailed they had just enough detail, I think, but they've got that simplistic look about them, which to me is evocative of the 60s, 70s and 80s comics from which they came from. And yeah, really, really nice. Hand painted as well they were. Let's move the box out of the way so we can see what's behind it. Oh yeah. James Bond piece by Sideshow Toys. The Doctor No Sean Connery 12 inch figure. Look at that price tag. Forbidden Planet $29.99. That's what they were back then. There he is. Now it's not a bad likeness to be fair. It's quite simple, quite basic, but it's you can certainly tell who it's meant to be. Some nice accessories there. He's in his black tuxedo, comes with a stand. Now this has been out of the box, it has been displayed. But nevertheless, it's a nice piece. And because it's been out of the box, it just means that whoever buys it doesn't have to worry about breaking the seal. And the most fun item I'm imagining of this week. The Family Guy, Giant Chicken vs. Peter. Action figures, box set by Mesco, Mesco Toys. Now, the box has seen better days. Look at the state of that. Really, really rough is that box. It's a rough box. A lot of wear, a lot of tear. But the figures, because the box is sealed, the figures are immaculate. Well, Apart from the bruises and the grazers, of course. <laughs> um, it's quite a sought after piece now, is this? I remember having these when these were on the shelves. Awesome stuff.
Well, I'm sorry to have to cut and run, but that's all I've got for you this week. And I've got to get off now because we're closing early. It's my daughter's birthday and we're taking her away for a nice weekend away. So, yeah, I'm going. Bye.